War 3 Champions should do like a tournament. Who's the best War 3 Champions moderator? They got a couple of good players. Yumi was successful earlier in this matchup. If I'm not mistaken. So let's see how this goes. I thought you meant a trivia tournament. Man, I would love to have a quiz show. But then I would like to participate. Dondo, don't you want to do a pub quiz? For Warcraft. For us. Anyone. Could be anyone, really. A player's forces are under attack. Just create, like... There's a million YouTube formats, probably, about quizzes. Just steal one. And challenge me. I'd be curious how well these pro and semi-pro players know units, for example. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Should it be Warcraft or fruit related? There's too much controversy around fruit. Too much. A player's forces are under attack. Well, we have this Fire Lord push strat again. Took a while for Shao KK to join the game. Ooh, what? It's a no barracks fire lord uh Fasia opening into double beastery walkers. That's odd. Don't know if I hate this. On paper, this could work. With Spirit Link against a long time without this spell. Yeah. Why run Spirit Link, man? Ah, someone played it before. Who played it before? Ah, uh, who did this? Scars? Was it Scars? Was it Scars in Inferno? Was Todd? Starbuck? Maybe both. So far, this looks ha- Oh, it's a Wyvern into Raider switch. Good against Arcane Towers, of course. Oh, the damage is- Oh, that Wyvern! Shout KK!
Hmm, I think Yumi's hold is pretty solid. And there was level 1 water elementals. Maybe water elementals are too good? A lot of footmen though. Do we have to fend? No. Don't need it really, right? No headhunters? We don't need it. I gotta say though, these Wyvern look a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> Blacksmith, yep, Yumi, yep. Want to finish that. Tier 2 only now, 8 minutes 30. What a crazy late tech this is. But footmen are kind of ready versus raiders. The spirit link and the magic damage could be pretty good. Do we have to spell? No, we don't. This push is still alive. Looking for a lot of hero focus. Oh my, that damage. Spirit Link helps the Wyvern a lot, actually, but now needs a heal scroll. Fastia surrounded doesn't work. Not the greatest connection. Yumi's tech is running. Mason reaches the hair too late, unfortunately. Level 2 for Incinerate could be huge if he enables it, of course, which for now he did not. Sup with the orcs and their hate for Incinerate. Okay, with that, damage done, towers broken. But not the expo, that one's still up. And then we get rifles and casters. What the hell is this shop? KK! Not cancelling. Yo, rinse and repeat, but mate, do you need another heal scroll? Okay, we have to spell now, gotta be kind of conservative with it, since you really want Spirit Link. Fasia is constantly getting attacked. Is he brute forcing this expansion? Is he? Oh, 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 he's losing damage, he's losing damage, and he's still getting it, noise. At what cost though? If he saves the raiders, will this work? Mountain King has arrived. Stormbolt is great. Army supply is even though. And Yumi has no lumber. Mm, that's a lot of peasants that are kind of useless now. Shao K K. A player's forces are under attack. How do you continue from here on? Just a raider walker army? I feel like lacks the punch. That was a sick one, though. 
One base, one base. Mountain King underleveled. Farsi is looking fine. More creeping. Hero focus always possible, especially since the TP is gone already. I do not hate Shao KK's position at all. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, better than Icewalk was, I guess. Why is KK making a Rex? I guess Spirit Link grunts. I could also. No, Headhunters, right? Switch into Headhunters? Also be grunts. Grunts need the upgrade. Should be headhunters. Grunts still good versus rifles. Ah, they're getting. Are they getting hardcore slowed? He has walkers. Yeah, grunts should be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you have a solution against slow. But then you have only frontline. I don't know if you find a fight with this much frontline. Yo, but if raiders, of course, are only fighting buildings, then you do. MK3, that was fine. Went of mana stealing. Needs a potion. Gets the potion. Yumi has a TP. Fighting! As there is no dispel. Let's go. There's very limited casters. I think he can dispel most of it. KK only 40 food though. He's expanding now instead of army. Weird. Adding the racks, then an expo at 40? game. Two players who kind of competed most in 2014-15. Still here to this day. I don't know if this expo works if Yumiko figures it out. Wait, what? Okay, dude, just expand again. Yeah, why not? Little KK, little Cray Cray. Dude, he just invested 700 gold into bases who are far away from finishing and paying off. Ah, Yumi. Yumi figured this out. This is sweet. But his base is under attack. He, he can't hold this one, but the other one he can. Pillage income. KK 1000 gold. Can spend it on a lot of army. Yumi is expanding here, but wolves figure this out immediately. Town portal home. Yumi could take off the map. Ooh, three more workers. Wolves last for a bit. Wipe and follow up. Nice. Army movement by KK is top notch, I'd say. Is 
Still same food. I don't think Yumiko expects an expansion upper left now that he cancelled the one at the six o'clock. forces are under attack. Hmm. Resources even, supply even, levels even. I'd say this game is very even, if not for this expansion. Yumi figures it out now, thanks to a water elemental. Good read. Oh, Wyvern Zeppelin drop. There's so many towers! Oh my god, Yumi with the cube! What the hell? There's so many resources! Not sure if that's the perfect target, but it's the one where you reach the least. It's only water elemental, man. You gotta respond to this at some point. Fascinating how good Spirit Link can be. But he's getting bolted, clapped. Is there a little bit of an overcommitment here, my friend? Why are you staying so long in this fight against five towers and a Mountain King with clap? He's getting pressured here as well with the split. Mountain King to the main, Archmage to the left hand side expo. And Yumi finds this expo as well. Ah! All that experience of Yumi paying off. Another Rex. What a weird game. What a cool game though. I oh, could have just portaled to the left early on. KK goes upgraded grunts, second racks. He went tier three and now makes grunts. Yeah, have you not heard of the new upgrade called Grunt Frenzy? Adds movement speed, attack speed, everything. Really good. Not the fight for KK, man. Mountain King is out of control, is he not? The positioning against the clap is also not great. Wow. That MK is the end. It's a little anticlimactic because they maneuvered around each other so well on the map. And in the end, it's just clap, clap, clapity clap. I, I mean, grunts just fall. Grunts just fall. Hoo-ya, Yumiko! With the 1-0. Overstaying the welcome, eh? Overstaying the welcome. In the base, against the towers. Ay, 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 ay. That hurt. Always cheer for the human. I don't think that goes for all of us. Mm. Next game. Oh, Lost Temple. Human versus Orc on Lost Temple. If 
buffet tonight? Yes, 8 p.m. Eh, come on now. <laughs> oh boy. I wanted to click on the Flow TV thingy and it didn't work for some reason. Uh, da, 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 game 10 Yumi Yumiko one map away from being qualified for the Warcraft All-Star League. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nick New York, thank you very much for the nine month. Yeah, 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 two and a half hours till FFA night. I still haven't had breakfast yet. Is it past midnight in China? Yeah, right? Or close. One of each. We also have to do my very, very first HelloFresh order. I was always curious. Now. The opportunity. If you guys have any recommendations, please help me out after this game. It's noon here, but you're not in China! <laughs> Time zones don't work that way. Well, then you're... East Coast. Blade Master, Archmage, Classic. It's 5 p.m. everywhere, but it's night here. Deal with it. That was my idea as well. Get rid of time zones. Just have a global time. It's way better. So... Yumi Lost Temple fast expansion figures out that it's cross map, which is pretty great. Shao KK facing elimination, but also facing the trolls in the temple for a stacked Blade Master. We already do, it's called UTC. What? Nobody does it. It's always the country's time that you're using. Tell an American to use UTC, lol. Wow. He starts the fountain while the Archmage is here and while his Blade Master is hurt. I don't know if that's the way, man. I know how juicy this fountain is. And everybody loves the fountain, but... That's successful when your opponent is expanding. Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Units running from creeps everywhere. At least the creeps are falling back. Asleep and now you can heal. New and shitting on America. I'm not shitting on Americans. 
I'm just pointing out truth. Oh! Ah! Yeah, creeps can also be woken up again after they fall asleep, in case you didn't know. I think Yumiko is in a grand position. Shao Keke goes tier 3. That's fine. He can then counter expand, I guess, if that's his idea. <laughs> I know, 112. I know, I know. Yeah, KK not really getting off the ground so far. Tier 2 started three minutes earlier than on game one. Fountain. Will he get the fountain? Nice block. Hex on the Archmage. Okay, KK make sure to get the middle. I hear a plate moving. No. I didn't do anything. You're hearing you're hearing voices disengage. Or oh, not voices. Uh, wow! <laughs> Sneaky. Yumi got the null over here, so it's actually tied. Scroll the beast for Yumi, Mana Stone for KK. But I mean, it's still an expo. Still up. We get a witch doctor tier three. KK has the gold a for a tiny. Under now he doesn't. Weird if he throws the foot, uh, the shockwave on the blade. Is this shredder worth it? This creep was a disaster. I heard a plate. What the hell? I don't know. I didn't do anything. All right, now we got the tiny. Now we're talking. KK has, of course, the tech lead. Yumiko is incredibly rich and just reached tier two. New hitting the mic. Yo, that's possible. Very possible. Probably the most likely. Who doesn't love a solid Lost Temple macro game at midnight? Right, chat? I mean, Chinese Midnight. Your noon. My 6 p.m. Town is under siege. <laughs> There's no damage on this poor blade master. Uh, escape! Because there's no radar. Yumiko is playing cat and mouse with KK, is he not? Is 
It's three bases. They're all protected. Tier three is running. KK needs quite a few bats, but... Oh, it's so hard. Does he even have a beast tree? Yeah, okay, he got one. I'd say Alchemist third, almost. Yumi is having a grand time. Feels like it's just a matter of time, everybody. We get some crazy upgrades on KK. Raider. Berserker. Rah, 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 rah. Still in need for a third hero. Yumi is clearing the next base. There we go. Paladin coming. Griffin's coming. Both tier three. That's how we love our Lost Temple. He needs a third hero. <laughs> this tower position again, dude. <laughs> it's kind of nice, isn't it? How do you crack these bases? Yumiko with the cubes. Another base bottom left. Zeppelin is here. Hero saved. Little tricky maybe because of positioning, but if you have Griffin, you don't need to care about positioning too much. Oh, KK blocks himself. This is uncrackable. A player's forces are under attack. Yumi is so rich, man. A town is under siege. He certainly learned how to wall off a base. That's probably the least valuable target, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. How much damage can you inflict? I love the Alchemist. Acid Bomb is great. And Blade Damage is cool. Heal Ward out of range of the towers. That's also sweet. But here comes the Hammer. Mountain King 2, Archmage 4, Griffins. Oh, being caught. There's only one armor upgrade. KK has a lot of supply. Yumiko... This is getting a little more scary than I thought. Do we have more Holy Light? Do we have more Holy Light? We need more Holy Light. Nope! Mountain King dead. Wait a minute. Is he just constantly ignoring these towers? You gotta get out. Invo Potion! Invo Potion! Go! 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 Whee! Town Portal was on the Shadow Hunter, man. This was risky. Bloodlust, what a sick spell! Is 
Yumi seriously losing this? He can of course still rebuild. Mountain King is coming back at another base soon, I guess. There we go, 70 seconds. But yeah, without Bolt, it's really hard to control these units. KK is a crazy man. He has a town pole on his blade now. Lots of damage done, but it's still four bases. And they're all running. Now things are getting scary. Yumi is starting production, gets up to 80, even more actually. Dude, the amount of gold he's losing to upkeep. Ooh. Creeping is super fast now. Unholy aura, perfect. Especially if the orc doesn't have a TC at all. But Yumi has to defend again. Paladin was also forced into Divine Shield, so no Devotion Aura. Only one tower up. Hmm. Army is still halfway across the map. And that buys time for towers. Aye. Great effort. Great effort by KK. Where's the Rara on the blade? Rara on the blade! Not yet. Nasty, nasty play by Yumi. And actually, would it be great to have mirror image here? I'm pretty sure it would be. Oh, Chemist! You need him! Good night. Despite the ring, no chance. Mountain King's back. KK is trying to destroy this base while three other bases are running. Fascinating how close this still is. can stop these griffins is I guess the question if the mountain king can at least connect a little bit 228 though crit level 3 but no way. he almost one shot the headhunters and he got an endless endless flow of gold that's it everybody Yumiko as the second human in this qualifier going through alongside Dice and Colorful. We've seen... And Sock, of course. So, 